Donald Trump's use of the federal authorities, it's instinctive. He's done this because it's in the nature of the man to lash out. He thought, great, I'll send these federal guys to Portland. We can have a fight. He hasn't thought through the consequences of it. They had no control over the streets, and really, I think they've become a bit of an embarrassment for Trump. The federal forces, the paramilitaries that Trump sent in, drawn from the likes of the Border Patrol and the Immigration Service, are now being withdrawn, at least from frontline service in putting down the protests. The Oregon State Police are going to take over that role. In essence, that is a defeat for Trump. He had sent in uh, these forces, in his words, to restore order in anarchic Portland. He's not only failed to do that, he's actually made the demonstrations worse. So pulling them back is, is an implicit admission of failure. Black Lives Matter's protests, they've been completely sustained in Portland, but they were fading away. They had got down to a few hundred people a night. Donald Trump sent the federal troops. He portrayed the Democratic mayor and the Democratic governor of the Oregon state as having lost control. They're afraid of these people. That's the reason they don't want us to help them. They're afraid. That wasn't an accurate picture. Mr. President, federal agencies should never be used as your own personal army. This is a very liberal city, a very strong anti-Trump feeling. So what you saw was a surge of people back onto the streets, really reinvigorated by this federal intervention, but also in the name of Black Lives Matter. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! What started two months ago as protests against police brutality has now become a nightly ritual. So for all of y'all that came out for peace, they generally get off the ground about eight or nine in the evening and they are always peaceful. It's about 11 o'clock at night or so, the focus shifts next door to the federal courthouse and a kind of different atmosphere takes over. Some carrying leaf blowers to blow away the tear gas. That's when essentially the fight begins. There were incidents with troops in camouflage, without any kind of real markings to identify who they were, cruising around in vehicles, snatching protesters. What are you doing? Use your words, what are you doing? What is going on? Who are you? The fuck? It was said that they were defending the federal courthouse, which at that point, other than being sprayed with graffiti, really hadn't been uh, the focus of attention, let alone the focus of attack. I'm not protecting anyone! Don't fuck yourself! Black lives matter! That's why we're here! We're not here because of some fucking building! Just come on, you know what I'm saying? So I'm fighting for my life. They started gassing us, so we came back with respirators. And they started shooting us, so we came back with vests. Who's escalating this? It's not us. Whenever anybody's dealing with Trump, they're always hesitant to think anything's firm until it happens because he changes his mind so often. He plays quite a lot of games. The city, Portland, was just a disaster. The governor and the mayor, we've been dealing with them. We think they don't know what they're doing. Our people are staying there to see whether or not they can do it today and tomorrow. And if they don't do it, we will send in the National Guard and we'll take care of it. Federal agents were very active last night, warning people to leave the fence alone. Shortly after that, they began using crowd control munitions and fired off tear gas. People here are waiting to see if the federal forces actually go away. If they do, and the state uh, police do take over, then that, that is a game changer for a lot of people. The protests may go on and there may indeed be uh, clashes between the state police and the demonstrators over the Black Lives Matters issue and reform of the Portland police. But it's a big difference from having federal forces in here, which were essentially viewed by many people in Portland uh, as a kind of occupying army. Pulling out of Portland, he may decide that was disastrous and he's not going to send uh, these federal forces into other cities, or he may decide well, he's going to punish somewhere else. He's going to distract from what happened with Portland. He's going to carry through on the threat to send in hundreds of agents into Chicago, for instance, he says, to quell gun crime. But many people suspect it's simply to stir up trouble, political trouble, because he thinks that that kind of chaos plays to his advantage at a time when he's doing really very badly in the polls right across the country.